the narcissist, and the empath, a toxic attraction. Have you ever wondered why empaths and narcissists gravitate toward one another? After all, these people are diametrically opposed. The narcissist has a large ego and an inflated sense of self-worth. They believe they have the right to do anything they want and that everyone should do as they say. The empath, on the other hand, is extremely sensitive to the feelings and needs of others, and they frequently have a deep desire to assist others and make them happy. So, what happens when these two kinds of people mix? And what is it about this relationship that makes it so toxic? Let us investigate. The false self of the narcissist meet the true self of the empath. The narcissist and the empath are two people who are first drawn to each other because they perceive reality in different ways. The narcissist has a distorted self-image. They have no idea what it's like to be vulnerable, to have empathy for others, or to be able to openly express their sentiments. The empath, on the other hand, has a great level of sensitivity and emotional intelligence. They are sensitive and fragile people. Empaths are drawn to narcissists because of their energy and charisma, and narcissists have a way of making individuals feel special or unique in some way when they first encounter them. Because empaths are emotionally fragile individuals, narcissists like to seek them out in order to easily exploit them. They also tend to flock toward these people since they may utilize them to fuel their own ego. The narcissist is a people user, while the empath is a people pleaser. An empath is someone who genuinely cares about people and strives to please them in order to feel accepted in society. They are usually highly thoughtful people. A narcissist is primarily concerned with themselves and utilizes others to acquire what they want, whether it's attention, money, or whatever else is useful at the time. When the narcissist gets exactly what they want, these two sorts of people can get along. However, this relationship can rapidly turn sour. The empath accepts responsibility for their own actions, whereas the narcissist blames everyone else. Empaths feel that the world is essentially nice and that everyone is trying their hardest. When something goes wrong, they accept responsibility for their actions and ask themselves what they did wrong. However, narcissists blame everyone but themselves for their issues and frequently try to make others feel bad about it. This is why empaths often feel as though they are walking on eggshells. They are constantly trying to avoid upsetting the narcissist, and all they want to do is make them happy. But it never seems to be enough. The empath's self-esteem plummets as a result, while the narcissist feels even more superior. Empathic love is unconditional and selfless, whereas narcissistic love is conditional and self-serving. We all want the same thing when it comes to love, to feel like we belong and are linked to someone. However, some people have discovered a different way to acquire that feeling, and it is not necessarily healthy. Empathic love is unconditional and unselfish, whereas narcissistic love is conditional and self-serving. Empaths are more prone to donate their time or resources without expecting anything in return, making them an easy target for narcissists who don't value reciprocity. Empaths appear kind and attentive because they can sense what others require. And it is for this reason that narcissists flock toward empaths. They know that the empath will be eager to meet their wants even if they are not explicitly asked. The empath lacks boundaries, whereas the narcissist violates them. Empaths often struggle with setting limits because they want everyone around them to be happy and content. They want to make sure that everyone else's needs come first. They dislike conflict and confrontation since it makes them feel uneasy and worried. Narcissists are notoriously good at exploiting this. They have little issue breaking down the barriers of the empath to achieve what they desire. Narcissists are overly concerned with what they require to feel good about themselves. They will push past any boundaries set by their spouse without regard for how this may affect them. After all, it's not difficult to see why this type of relationship is so toxic. Narcissists are drawn to people who have low self-esteem because it makes them feel good about themselves, while empaths have poor self-esteem because they often feel they have no control over their own lives because they are so focused on helping others. When these two personalities get together, it creates a magnetic, yet highly dysfunctional partnership. Over time, the empath becomes emotionally fatigued as a result of the narcissist's persistent demand for attention, and the narcissist becomes suffocated as a result of the empath's constant attempts to fix them and the relationship. The empath usually walks away wiser, stronger, and more cautious about who they commit their time, energy, and love to, whereas the narcissist usually walks away hunting for their next victim. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that we can continue to make them. For more videos like this, subscribe and remember to turn on the notification bell. Also, make sure to check out our other videos. Thank you for tuning in.